Great Thursday morning, everyone. How are you all doing? This is your girl, Shan. <laughs> I say that every morning. Let me get into today's topic because I ain't no telling how the Lord is going to allow this to come out on today. This realness that we all need to hear, whether you're single or whether you are married. But I definitely need our married individuals to listen up on today, okay? Because y'all know me, I'm going to keep it real. Um, thank you so much for the feedback that I have been receiving good morning kevin um that i have been receiving it has been amazing and I, all i can say is all glory praise and honor be to god you know it's sometimes hard when god um calls you to do things and he tells you to do things and especially when you got the naysayers you know the one where it's too much realness for him mm -hmm. yeah trying to tell you well maybe you don't want to do that maybe you don't want to say that but um you got to do what thus says the lord so keep <laughs> I want us to look at this today. We need to learn how to keep some things out of our marriage. You know, uh, uh, just keep it out of there. It's toxic. Good morning, Nikesha and Simone. It is very toxic. Keep it out of there, okay? Let me go ahead and tell you what I'm talking about. Um, let me break it down like this because I'm sure everybody can relate to these. Have you ever had somebody... I don't care if you're a work, home, family member, church, whatever... Um, anybody in the community, but somebody that when you, when they come around you, good morning, Yvonne, girl, come on in. Um, when they come around you, you instantly feel drained. You set up and you start to regret like, oh, oh, I don't want to see so-and-so. Oh my God. Let me explain to you what that is. That is called toxicity. That is a toxic relationship. That's toxic because what it feels like is that the individual is draining you, okay? Now, for those of us who have big hearts, you know what I'm saying, such as myself, we like to set up, we like to help, you know, be there for people. Let me go ahead and give you a word to the wise, especially when it comes to your marriage. I need us to listen up. If you are willing to help someone, okay, and you doing more work in the situation than they are, I'm going to need you to go ahead and fall back. Just, just fall back, pray for them, or whatever the case may be. Now, I'm the type of person or whatever, um, like I said, I like to help, I like to do. But in my years, all right, Yvonne, California, eh? In my years, I have learned to mature and grow up, okay? Uh, let me go ahead and share a situation with you. So I remember the first encounter in my marriage. My husband have a real good friend. They've been friends for years. And so we were all stationed overseas at this time. Um, my husband had to come back to the States. Um, he came back first, get, getting stationary at Fort Hood, where we are now. Um, and then I had orders to come back after that. Okay. Well, <clears throat> some, some situations had took place at the duty station where I was at overseas. And I remember talking to my husband and um, I was like, oh my God, now I still had this hood loyalty in me. And anybody from the hood, you know what I'm talking about. I still had that hood loyalty in me and I'm still very loyal, but I'm wise with my loyalty, okay? And so long story short, the person that was real, real close to us, his wife was cheating on him. And baby, when I tell you she was cheating, she was all the way out there with hers. You see what I'm saying? To the point to where his other friends was like, you wrong. You shouldn't. And it was, he was, she was cheating on him with a good friend. Okay. I ain't trying to tell nobody business. I'm just trying to make it plain, right? With one of his good friends that he thought somebody he was close with, whatever the case may be. So I'm talking to my husband on the phone because I'm mad. You know, this is somebody that's real close to my husband. We real close now. I call him my brother. You know, God has redeemed, delivered, br brought things, all things new. So let me get off his testimony. But anywho, I was talking to my husband. I said, baby, I was like, such, 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 such. I was like, oh my God, we got to call our homeboy. Let him know what's going on. He out here looking stupid in these streets and this, that, and other. And my husband said, mm -mm. he was like, leave it alone. And I was like, but baby, he, these, do you know what she out her doing? Like, you don't see it like I see it with my eyes, even when I look out my window from my barracks room. And he was like, mm-mm. He said, leave it alone. And I was like, 
okay. You know what I'm saying? But at the same token, I was thinking, this is one of your good friends. Like, why wouldn't you be the one to break the news to him? But I left it alone like my husband said. And so one of the valuable lessons that my husband taught me is let people deal with their own stuff. Now, ladies, let me go ahead and holler at you because I know y'all done did this. Remember how you had that home girl? And y'all was supposed to be cool, cool and cl close and things like that. And she said, um, yeah, girl, let me know if you see my man out there cheating, girl. Let me know, girl, because this and the other. And you sit up her like, okay, and you do the same for me. Now, you mean it what you saying, right? And so before you know it, you see her man out there in them streets and he ain't with her. You see what I'm saying? And of course, y'all done made this verbal pact that you was going to say something. So you done went ahead, hey, internet, you done went ahead, you done said something. You like, girl, come here, girl. Come here. Because see, my ladies is giving the hearts and the likes. So that means y'all done been through this. Come, girl, come here, girl. I got to meet you, girl. Either you come over here, I'll meet you at the coffee shop with a girl. Remember you told me to tell you when your husband, I mean, your man is out here in these streets, your husband's or whatever. Hey, Billy, so, all right, girl. <laughs> Remember, girl, so I, good morning, Alice. I just want to let you know, you know what I'm saying? This is what he doing. So she mad, she huffing and puffing. You got your girls back because you trying to protect her or whatever. And then you give it a whole week later and you turn around and she back with this joker. Good morning, Natasha. And you looking like, I done went through all that. I done told you this. This is one thing that I done learned, and I'm going to try to purpose to keep real classy in what I'm about to say. But this is what I've learned in my 40 years. I know I don't look 40, right? My 40 precious years of life. The private parts, and forgive me if y'all eating breakfast, the private parts of the individual in which your friend is messing with is more powerful than y'all's friendship. I'm telling you. That's what keep people running back. Can I, I'm just keeping it real. That's what keep them running back. You can't fight up against that. So when my husband had told me, hey, mm -mm, stay out of that situation. What we have to understand is sometimes, and I say all that to say this. We got to understand that sometimes we allow ourselves to get into toxic situations because our heart is to help. You know what I'm saying? And then you sitting up here wondering why things ain't going right in your household, okay? You bringing that toxicity into your home. You're bringing it into your marriage. That's why I say when you get around people that they're draining the life out of you. Every time they're going through, who they calling? Girl, girl. And you sitting up thinking, are you? can you say anything positive? Why is everything with you always negative? So part two, two B of this, evaluate your surroundings and your friendships, okay? Because see, what I see as a friendship is this, all right? I see this. I pour into you, you pour into me. I tell you the truth, you tell me the truth. You know what I'm saying? Hey, cousin Kim, I tell you the truth, you tell me the truth. But baby, if every time I'm telling you the truth, then you set up here, you cry, you act a fool, and all this other kind of stuff, then you end up back with the individual. Look at this cycle. You end up back with the individual. The individual will tell you, oh, baby, your friend just jealous. She don't want to see us together. And then she set up here and she got an attitude with you. Okay, as the friend. See, that's how the spirit of manipulation works. So that's why I encourage you. I don't care if it's your family. Listen to what I'm saying now. We don't turn our back on family. But baby, do you let a person's situation be their situation? Because one thing that I have learned is just like we had to go through things. God has taken us through things. You grow from your mistakes. You learn from your mistakes. Say that, Simone. You know what I'm saying? We have had to walk through our own text and trials but we cannot get into the part where we're saving people not to walk exactly brandy where we're saving people to where they don't walk through their own stuff like i said in the very beginning of this video what i've learned is if an individual is not willing to do the work okay they're not willing to get out of that situation baby i don't care what you do say and what you pray okay and prayers is free you got to let them go through their own tests and their trials. However, there was a situation where, you know, a beautiful young lady, you know what I'm saying? And her child and everything like that. I don't want to make it too specific, even though it happened some years ago. And my husband, we knew this young lady by way of my husband. And I got real cool with her, whatever. And the next thing, say that Billy Sue. And the next thing I know, she was contacting the ladies. 
And she, you know, was talking to some of the men that she could trust. She was in a real physically abusive marriage. Okay. When I say physically abusive, good morning, twin. He was beating the brakes off of her and her daughter was witnessing that. Now for me, I don't do well with men that put their hands on women, just like I don't do well with women who put their hands on men. And I really can't stand to see a woman provoke a man to the point where he hit her. I don't like none of that. You know what I'm saying? And what I really don't like is when a person, you provoking the other person, but you make yourself the victim when you started it. Let me get up off of that. So anywho, with this specific situation, we were asking her, what do you need? You know what I'm saying? What do you need for us to do? And she said, I just need to be able to sneak out this house with my daughter. You know, good morning, Miss Delia. With my child, I need to be able to sneak out this house and I need to be able to get to the airport because if I get to the airport and I can get back home, me and my child will be safe. Hey, how you doing? Uh, S4 life. So, me and my child will be safe. So we set up and we devised a plan. But first we had to make sure she was real. And part of her realness was for her to purchase her plane ticket. So she purchased her plane ticket. She said, y'all got my ticket. Baby, for anybody who's on her, this military, prime military, or you've been married to the military, baby, we had a straight covert uh, operation that we had put together to help this young lady. One person waited around the corner. She already had the bag pre-packed for her baby. She grabbed that bag, honey. She hit that corner. She got in one vehicle who took her to another safe place and in the middle of the night took her to the airport and her and her baby was saved. But see, notice the key word because if anybody would have got caught because of the hot temper of her husband, he was a shooting fool. You heard me? And he would have shot anybody. And so I say all that to say she did the work, but don't get caught up. You sitting up, you and your husband, the husband and wife, baby, y'all doing good. You see what I'm saying? Y'all marriage is good. Y'all got goals, honey. Y'all going on vacation. Y'all loving on each other. And the next thing you know, it flipped at the drop of a dime because one of the two of y'all done let some toxicity into y'all's marriage. I understand we have the heart to help people, but toxic situations is not the key. And how my mindset has started to be, if it's anything that takes away from my husband and my family, that's like you straight up disrespecting me. You see what I'm saying? And you know those people, them so-called friends, they caught up in the middle of a situation that they don't really don't want to get out of, but they just want you to be intrigued in the drama. And we like being a drama sometimes if we keep it real, because some of y'all be flipping, some of us, let me ask us up in there, some of us, when you want to get rid of everyday life or get away from it for a minute, you'll go into some little reality TV drama, can I keep it real, or you find yourself engulfed in somebody else's foolishness. But let me tell you what I can do. I can pray for you. That's what I can do. Like I tell people, prayers is free. You see what I'm saying? Do not allow yourself to get caught up in somebody else's drama. I already told y'all how I love my brother. But baby, if that's your choice to do the actions to keep going back and forth in and out of jail, you, that ain't got nothing to do with me because I'm out here in these streets grinding. And that which I do in these streets for my grind is for my family. It's for my husband and my kids, even though I came from this family. That's why the word of God say you leave and cleave, okay? You need to be putting more effort into your marriage. You need to be putting more effort into your family instead of trying to be out here saving the world. And then you sit and pray mad talking about me right I'm gonna use me as example I don't understand why Kenya just won't support me in this because Kenya see that it's some time foolery and my baby has supported me in some things now who am I preaching to on this morning because your husband or your wife and tried to tell you baby I know you love your mama but your mama got the capabilities to do for yourself this is a strange relationship up in here or uh, you take care of your mama like she your wife Somebody out there and said that somebody is saying ouch right now. Somebody that got mad and clicked off because you know, it's the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. Do not allow text, um, toxic situations in to your marriage singles. I need y'all to work on this and practice on this right now. If it's anybody to come your, 
Uh-uh. Free yourself from toxic situations, okay? Free yourself from toxic family. I can love you. I ain't got to cut you off, but I'm gonna let you deal with your own foolishness. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you learn your own lesson. And that's what we need to do sometimes as parents. See, that's why we get so caught up at a whole, uh, let me speak, 40, 50, whatever years old, because you sitting up here involving yourself in toxic situations with your kids trying to save your, your kids. By the law, and I ain't saying turn your back on your kids, because anybody know, baby, I will be there for mine. Just call my name and I'll be there. Who said that? Michael Jackson? Baby, I will be there, especially if it warrants for me to be there. Now, if it's some time foolery, baby, you're going to have to learn just like your mom and your daddy had to learn. How and so ever... We get so caught up. We got to understand that by law, they are our responsibility from birth to 18 years of age. And then we need to let them fly out of that nest. Some of us ain't ready for that. I wasn't ready for it when it happened, but when, but when it did, then guess what? And you had to learn because you have to take that time to teach them. But what you do not do is allow toxicity because I ask people this. When people ask me something, that, oh, okay, I'll let you cry. I'll let you boo-hoo. I'll let you do all that. But then I'm asking you this question what is it that you need for me to do what because what you're not gonna do is drag me along in your foolishness so what is it that you need from me well i just i just need for you mm -mm. the word of god even say teach people how to fish what did it say teach them how to fish you let these jokers learn how to fish you hear what i'm saying so what is it that you need from me if you need some prayers i got you if you need some common sense and you actually gonna listen to it i got you but it, it hurt it, it hurts hurts me like none other when somebody asked me for my advice and I took the time out of my schedule to sow into them because I want to see the best for them. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Especially those that have a good heart. But then you just sat up here and wasted my time because time is precious. That's something you can't get back. So, baby, if you're ready to make some moves and make it do what it do, then go ahead and holler at your girl. But I can't stand when I'm sitting up here and you ask me for my advice. But then you sit up here and you got all the answers. That lets me know how things work in your marriage that lets me know that when wives we talking to the husband soon as we the husband start answering us then we set up her and oh we trying to cut them off and we trying to answer for them how can you have an effective communication with your spouse husbands and or wives when they open up to you and they talk to you and you always cutting them off okay you are you know the answers of what they gonna say but you haven't even listened to them you cutting them off you being rude you being disrespectful if you can't learn to respect your spouse let me I'll let you let me talk to you then how is it that that you can learn to respect everybody else oh you respect that boss why because that boss give you a paycheck baby after that paycheck stop who gonna be there for you you see what I'm saying you respect your kids you respect your family but why can't you respect your spouse and maybe they sitting up here telling you this maybe your husband is saying baby I love you but we can't get nowhere because you disrespect me all the time. You talk down in front of your family. You always run into your family and vice versa because men do it too, okay? So I'm not going to go on this whole rant. If you get nothing else out of this video, what I need you to get is this. When it comes to somebody saying they need your help, First of all, identify if it's toxic. Second of all, if it don't look toxic, if you doing more work in their situation than they doing, baby, I'm going to need you to let them go through what God is allowing them to go through. We can't stop people from going through stuff because if God allow us to go through it, if it's a situation that we created, we got to learn from it. So I want you to examine y'all selves. I want you to examine right now if you are married. You know what I'm saying? Examine. Mm. Are you finding yourself in toxic situations? Does your marriage seem like it's been flipped upside down? Why? And who is letting down that breach on that wall for that toxicity? Okay, that's all I want to know. Free yourself of toxic situations so you can have the marriage that God has ordained for you to have okay but you can't set up here and let toxicity down and then expect your marriage to be successful especially when your spouse is not in agreement with the foolery of the toxicity okay so y'all have a blessed day 
Don't let anybody steal your joy shirt. It's because it's free. Somebody need it. I say that every day. You don't know what people going through. You think you know, but you don't know what's going on behind their walls. Okay? So shirt is because it's free. Be a blessing to somebody today and not a curse. And you know your girl will be back with you on tomorrow with the realness that God placed on my heart. Okay? God bless and blessings to you.